But today's Torah portion from the annual is Shoftim. Shoftim, which is Judges. Mm -hmm. Shoftim is Judges. And so for right now, we're going to going to read a small portion from the Torah portion. We're going to look at Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 18 verse 15, uh, excuse me, 15 through 22. I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen here. Hold on one second here. Deuteronomy Devarim 18 verses 15 through the end of the chapter. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Go ahead and read through starting with the 15th verse there. And it says, Yahweh your Elohim shall raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst, from your brothers. Listen to him according to all you asked of Yahweh your Elohim and Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear the voice of Yahweh my Elohim, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And Yahweh said to me, What they have spoken is good. I shall raise up for them a prophet like you out of the midst of their brothers, and I shall put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be the man who does not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other mighty ones, even that prophet shall die. Mm -hmm. And when you say in your heart, how do we know the word which Yahweh has not spoken? When the prophet speaks in the name of Yahweh and the word is not or comes not, that is not the word which Yahweh has spoken. Mm -hmm. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Do not be afraid of him. Okay, all right. Um, there's a few things here that we want to talk about. I guess I uh, kind of want to start at the end here. It's interesting where it talks about this, um, this prophet who uh, presumes to speak a word in my name. False prophets, people who sit up here and say that they are speaking the words that the Most High said. Mm -hmm. um, and in all actuality, they aren't. Mm. False prophets. That's right. right? They're saying false things. They're saying things that the Most High didn't say. And also, they're saying things that, so they're either saying things that are contrary to the Most High um, that he didn't say, or they're taking you all the way away from the Most High, right? And causing you um, speaking in the name of other mighty ones, right? Mm. Um, bringing idolatry into um, the situation. He said, these prophets must in fact die um, it's interesting that um, I had a conversation with someone today um, actually it wasn't today it was a few days ago um, about uh, you know Islam right um, and there are many that you know try to kind of uh, equate um, the God of Islam, uh, Allah, with uh, the Most High. Oh, yeah. Um, this is this is false. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So this fits into this category over here when we deal with these false prophets, bringing talking about these false mighty ones. Um, that prophet shall die. Don't listen to them. Mm -hmm. You don't got to listen to them. It says right over here. Let me move my picture out of the way. Don't be afraid of him. He might have these things to have to say to you in places where you um, should be because uh, you're, in fact, are a, a 
as they say, some infidel. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, right? Because this is uh, a false prophet, right? He tells us in Deuteronomy 18, he tells us just a matter of a few verses above mm -hmm. the prophet that we should, in fact, be listening to, right? And it's interesting that when we speak, when we look at these words over here, it's interesting when you compare, uh, for instance, when you compare um, uh, verse 15, verse 15 through, uh, hold on, is it verse 15? Let me see mouth speak to you. Uh, 15 says that he will raise up a prophet like me mm -hmm. from your midst and then in 18 he says I will raise up for them a prophet like you out of the midst of the brothers and so it's interesting is he talking about two different prophets over here First of all, he's gonna bring he's gonna bring a prophet like me. Mm -hmm. Whether you're saying that me is the most high or Moses, mm -hmm. he says that in 18. But then he says, I'm gonna bring them a prophet like you. Mm -hmm. Again, whether he's talking about Moses or the most high. Mm -hmm. Either one, when we think about the prophet that he's gonna raise up, mm -hmm. he's going to raise up a prophet that's like unto the most high. Hell yeah. And he's like under Moses. Right. <laughs> Those are the only two choices over mm -hmm. here. Uh, whichever one you want to put in the 15 talking about the Most High or 15 talking about Moses or 18 talking about the Most High or mm -hmm. 18 talking about Moses, mm -hmm. either one is going to be a prophet who's like unto the Most High mm -hmm. and who's like unto Moses. And so when we think about a prophet, if he's like unto Moses, we got to think about what is Moses like? Mm -hmm. What's his role in the in the situation? What what's he like? Because that's the one you know. That's what the prophet that he's talking about here that he's going to raise up from the brothers that 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 Israel's supposed to listen to. Mm -hmm. This prophet, this prophet that the Most High is going to raise up is like unto Moses. So what's Moses like? Moses is the is the literal essential ruler mm -hmm. of the people. Mm -hmm. Moses is king. Mm -hmm. If there was a way for uh, a king to behave, it would be like Moses. Moses ruled the people. It, Mo, the most I said through Moses to the people, you don't need a king. Uh, like these other nations, the Most High will be your king. Mm -hmm. When we see the way in which Moses uh, conducted himself throughout uh, his life, um, on the other side of uh, Egypt, it, 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 he was the king, mm -hmm. right? And so this prophet that comes out of the midst of the brothers that you should listen to as the people of the most high he's going to be a king he's going to be a, a ruler he is going to have uh, rulership and dominion over the people and he's going to tell the people what it is that the most high wants from them that's what Moses did. Moses spoke to Moses, and Moses spoke to the people. He said in seventeen, they what they have uh, 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 in uh, sixteen. Let me not hear the voice again of Yahweh my Elohim. Let let me not see this great fire. It's interesting that the that the Psalm fifty that we read talked about uh, the Most High coming with many storms. It was very stormy when he comes right mm -hmm. but that's literally what it was like at the top of the mountain 
There was all types of storms. It was very stormy, right? It was very uh, frightful, scary. The people said, I don't want to hear the voice of Yahweh. Mm, that was scary. The Most High spoke to the people mm -hmm. in such a way it was so real. <laughs> it was just so like itself. Like he didn't even like hold back at all. Good. It was just all Most High. Oh, yeah. And the people was like, that's too much for us. Mm -hmm. Can you just please just scale it back a little bit? Oh, in yeah. fact, scale it back a lot. And make it so <laughs> that we can't we don't hear that because that's way too frightening for us to to do what's a voice sound like that is that's just scary that you just it's so scary that you don't even want to hear it anymore mm -hmm. i wonder what that's like mm -hmm. like they they couldn't they, it just was like they were just, they were frightened to the point where they said i don't want to hear his voice anymore but he said okay what you've spoken actually is good. Mm. What you've spoken is good. In fact, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do something better. I'll raise you up a prophet from out of your midst. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put my words in his mouth. And you don't got to hear it from, from my mouth. I'll put them in his mouth. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is that he speaks, those are the things that I'm commanding you. So just think about me whenever you see him. <laughs> and that's the same thing that the Yeshua said when he was if you heard if you heard me talking to you then you heard the father, father. Mm -hmm. that's right he yeah. most Yeshua puts himself into these verses without literally saying it he didn't have to say well if you look back in Deuteronomy 18 and 15 <laughs> through, study, study through uh, 22 mm -hmm. you know well he probably said it to the disciples because Luke talks about when he goes back into all of the scriptures and shows the disciples when the scriptures was talking about him. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that he probably most definitely went over there to these verses oh, yeah. over here. Because Yeshua is this individual over mm -hmm. here. He is the one that the Most High has. This is prophecy. It's interesting the amount of prophecy that we actually had in the book of Deuteronomy. Um, it's not all about just the giving of law right and for the most part you don't have new law in Deuteronomy anyway it's a retelling of what's already given but what we do have in Deuteronomy is prophecy oh, yeah. and over here it, uh, is uh, another example of that and so it's interesting when we look at um, Deuteronomy uh, <coughs> 18 <clears throat> excuse me um 15 through 22 when we see here um the description of this prophet that's going to come forth that is in fact yeshua um there's much more that we can talk about and say about this um, and i'll just refer you to what we have uh, in the uh, archives um, we'll go ahead and put in the links in the description where I talk about this chapter at length oh, yeah. um, 